right guys we are in september and uh, i'm mowing some food plots today um probably get one more mow out of these before the season opens this probably won't be my last mow but i'm in the sea field here where i shot massey last year uh it's looking really good uh pretty soon it'll be time to get the radix tops on probably in the next couple weeks we'll start throwing those up um the beans look good over here there's a lot of weeds they are never sprayed by the farmer but they are thick uh with just some weeds coming through but clover's doing pretty good i believe this is year three or four for this field so it might need a little work next year but it's going to do just fine for what we need this season uh, i'm going to hit a couple more food plots today get them mowed off maybe do some trail clearing um, pretty soon here it'll be time to start working on mock scrapes so we might be transitioning our trail cams mainly from minerals and bean fields to uh mock scrapes here real soon um, i know some bucks are probably already hitting them the velvet is shedding but uh we don't get a ton of early season mock scrape action here but we want everything ready to go for mid-october so we might start doing that here pretty quick all right i'm standing here in my second food plot today uh food plot behind the lake we gotta stand up there um haven't hunted it in a couple years but the clover is coming in real good this year uh they're really happy with the clover in this food plot um just got done mowing it i'm moving a cell cam over here from one of the bean fields to this food plot they kind of transition out of the main woods up through this plot and then out into the field uh, this is where we had a bunch of encounters with some good deer in the 2014 15 16 kind of range uh hook spent a lot of time in this food plot this is where actually he was shot at we shot at him twice in this food plot from the same tree stand um, years before he ended up actually dying so like he spent a lot of time here um, a couple other bucks did too but we've kind of neglected it the last few years there's just only so many spots you can pay attention to every year but this year we're back here got the cell cam ripping clover's looking good and it should be a good early season spot to maybe take a doe or two uh, before the rut comes in and then obviously we'll have some mock scrapes on the edge of this plot before they transition out into the field All right, guys, back here at the home farm uh, today. I uh, just got back from a couple trips and we're getting things kind of squared away here at the home farm. Uh, this is a spot that last year, Isaac did a whole bunch of early season hunting in and had some close opportunities uh, with a couple hit list bucks. One that's still alive that we call Arnold. Um, and we only know he's alive because our neighbor got some pictures of him back in June. No one knows what he looks like right now. But Arnold is alive, and he used this. Uh, he used this scrape last year uh, a few times. I'll show you pictures of that. Uh, he was with another buck. Uh, I think we call him Splitter or Split Brow Nine. But he had a Split Brow Time, nice nine point. That Isaac was really hunting. He got some footage of him out in this field in mid October. Uh, but he got killed by the Amish uh, during gun season. So we were unfortunately unable to put a good end to that story. But hopefully Arnold shows up back here and the driveway buck who we're getting in the bulk of our main farm and here uh, goes back and forth between these two places quite often so uh, we're hoping the driveway buck hits this scrape he hit this mineral lick there's the mineral lick right there uh, that the driveway buck was hitting this year earlier in the season so we got a tacticam set up with the new uh, reveal software on it and uh, i'm gonna go check the rest of the cameras and we're gonna top the blinds today and check some tree stands and uh, kind of get things squared away here at the home farm I haven't checked this camera in a couple weeks, uh, but I'm pretty excited about it because we're in the field where I've been getting the bachelor group that we call the boys, uh, which is eight to 10 bucks. Two or three of them are borderline shooters. One is a for sure shooter, dad's buck, and a couple other two or three year old deer that are really on the rise. A couple 10 points, a couple eight points. Just a really good bachelor group of bucks. And this camera has been getting them. So pretty excited to see if any of them are hard horned and how they finished out. All right, guys, I'm here in front of my favorite stand, uh, Possum Run. And two years ago, when we had soybeans on the farm, uh, this was the best stand we had. I had 
three encounters, three nights in a row with three different mature bucks, and I ended up killing Traveler on that third night. Um, I saw no brows, I saw Fat Bastard, and then Traveler. Uh, it was a great week. It was the last week of October, first week of November. And then last year, I tried to recreate uh, that kind of magic here, and it just did not work because we had corn planted. And the way this spot sets up, there's a swamp valley right here. This is a little knoll. Possum Run is a knoll that runs along the swamp. On the other side of the swamp is the crop field, so that's where the soybeans are. Last year it was corn, and it just wasn't much of a draw. The, beer, the deer were just bedding in the corn. They weren't using this transition area. This right here is the perfect definition of a transition area. It's kind of open. Uh, the deer can bed on the edges. There's another little ravine over here and then big open woods. That woods goes for a mile, just large open woods that way. So the deer use this as a transition before dipping through the swamp and then out into the crop fields. This year, since we have beans, we're already seeing more sign up here than we did last year. I set up this box scrape. My stand is right up there, 25 yard shot, uh, perfectly on the upwind side because most winds come out of the Northwest in the fall this time, or uh, in this area of Ohio. And I've already found a couple rubs coming up out of here, some transition rubs. Uh, last year there was no rubs on Possum Run the whole entire season. There was zero. We didn't find any because they just weren't using it. They had no reason to with the corn. But now that you can't bed out in the beans and they want to stay two, three hundred yard buffer into the woods from the feed, this spot, you can see a little rub right there, this spot's perfect. And it's shaping up just the way uh, I wanted it to. And I probably won't be back here until after I get back from my honeymoon in mid to late October, there's a fresh rub right there, uh, another one over there, but I won't be back here till mid to late October. Uh, that's my last camera check, this one right here is, so it's going to be about a month until I get these cameras checked again. I got high quality browning on that scrape, hopefully some of our target bucks will just be pounding it and come late October, same time frame as two years ago, uh, when the deer are doing their pre-rut activities and moving towards breeding season. I will be able to have some good luck here. Spartan go cam, low hanging oak tree branch, and a green bean field. The last time we had beans here, 2019, which is something we keep reiterating because that's just the best data we have to go off of for how this season's gonna be, hopefully. The last time we had beans here, that tree right there was the hottest spot on the farm and i'll show you guys videos i've if you've watched our show ever or any of our social media you've seen videos from that tree i had traveler fat bastard no brows um, just a whole bunch of different bucks over the years hit that tree when there's beans here because they're low hanging and they're all along the edge of this bean field and it's just the perfect recipe for scrapes uh, and every year we have good luck so this year we have the spartan deployed there we'll be able to keep an eye on it hopefully uh that big bachelor group of bucks, when they break up, some of them start using this side of the uh, bean field and uh, we start getting some good videos that we can share with you. Third and final Radix has the top on it. And we are done setting up all the blinds for the year. Seafield Clover plot, where I killed Massey last year. Check the camera real quick. We gotta go do some things at some satellite farms and uh, check some stands to make sure they're still safe. But things are taking shape here in Medina. All right guys, I uh, just finished my final mow of the year. Uh, we got about a week until the season opens and uh, this is a Seafield Clover plot uh, where I killed Massey and a couple of mature does and my gobbler this year. Uh, 
it's been the last couple years since we put this radix here uh, this has been the spot on our farm and uh, it's ready to go as you can see clover's mowed we got a lot of rain in the forecast this week beans are still green this is gonna be a spot the thing is we're not gonna be hunting this early season unless there's a reason to uh, if we have a big shooter buck that needs killed but we have a uh, we got the park hunt so we're gonna be using the park in October and leaving this farm and all our other farms uh, for late October November when the rut's really kicking in The goat? Budweiser, yeah. Bud's dead. That's sad. It is it sad. Just tied up in the yard. Kyle's yeah, yeah. in a bad mood. I'm getting married in 24 hours, but we had to come make sure a couple of these stands for Sunday of opening weekend are ready to go, just in case we need to kill Dad's buck. Because he's been uh, he's been feeding out here for the last three months every single night. And he's 140 class, 8 point. It's at least four and a half years old. But Isaac passed like four times last year, so. We have both his sheds. Yep. We have, yeah, we have both the sheds from last year, so. The stage is set if the conditions are right for Luke to try to come in here and kill him tomorrow. Might be fun. Uh, not tomorrow, actually, Sunday. Sunday. Yes, no, Sunday one's gonna, no one's able to hunt tomorrow unless someone goes in the morning. Nope. Not happening. Not happening. 